So this is like a shameless dodgy because we've had to park somewhere down there then I've got to go and meet someone to get some keys because I'll not tell you just yet but So the journey begins it's currently 7 a.m. We're just waiting for Rob to pick us up. Once he picks us up, we're off to Birmingham. And these two still don't have an idea on where we're staying. Taxi. Good morning, everybody. To the office. So, we're at the office to collect all the gear. The office is going in that car, then we're off to Birmingham. I'll be honest, I thought it'd look more than that, but there is some stuff already in the car. Right, okay, we're en route. Now, as mentioned earlier, these two have no idea where we're laying our heads this evening. So I've been in charge of booking all the accommodation and stuff, and I thought for the vlog, it'd be good if I just didn't tell them anything. So the options range anywhere from a dormitory with about 20 to 25, I think it said, beds all in like one big, I don't know, I assume some sort of like gym looking space. There's loads of like bunk beds and stuff. So dormitories were an option. Luxury apartments was an option. Like a city apartment thing where you like book out a two, three bedroom apartment or whatever and have like the whole thing to yourself. A house was a thing, similar to the apartments but in a house version. Standard hotel rooms were a thing where I just got us each a hotel room um, or did I have to get a twin and a double and me and Rob have to top and tail or whatever then a tent was an option and am I playing this off because that's the option I've gone for and I'm pretending I've forgot so they won't guess it <laughs> who knows so they're roughly the options get your guesses in I'll come to you first Robert what do you think I've gone for where do you think we're staying what does it look like I mean <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be a dormitory room, hostel type thing. If it is, I've got some spare cash to pay for a travel lunch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I must admit, mm, I think there's a chance it's going to be like a little apartment type thing because that's what we was originally looking at. But obviously, I know plans have maybe changed. A bit. I don't know if that's on yet or not. Yeah, um, I think it's going to be like a hotel. B&B &B maybe, Ted. Like a B&B, &B, so just yeah. a couple of rooms, well, a, few, a room each. Yeah, room Bed and breakfast type place. Yeah, so I think. It's a decent shout. Hotel, hotel. Holiday, yeah. <laughs> um, so until we get there, these won't actually know, because I want to capture their, uh, I want to capture their reactions as soon as they turn up and they're like, you've oh, got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> So the original plan was to book out an apartment like a city view, Birmingham Central, flash apartment. And we looked at Airbnb and there were some like mad prices and I'm like, this is cheaper than like getting free hotel rooms and stuff. So we did look into that, but apparently you have to leave like big safety deposits that can be up to like 300 quid or whatever. Even though the room, the apartment for the evening are cheap, that's why plans changed and that's when I went into a whole creative mode of, ooh, how do we turn this into like a cool vlog? This is how. We'll also show you like what we're filming and shit. And follow us on Instagram as well because we're sharing all behind the scenes on Instagram. I know that will have already happened, but we're going to be doing that more often. So while I remember, follow us on Instagram at the agency co. On with the journey. Whoop, whoop. So the first stop is Birmingham City football ground. And as a football right, fan, I always like down visiting down. football stadiums. I hope this one's pretty cool. Let's have a look. We're off into cup. You blues, 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 blues. The Troy Dean is still here. So here we are. Birmingham City Football Club, St Andrews. Looks alright this, you know. And it's blue, I like blue. Oh, look how cool this is. That is awesome. I want one of Goodison Park. Alright, we've got to Birmingham City's new signing. And they're not in for a treat because this guy can't even run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, put belly away. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his prime. <laughs> if you weren't doing this apprenticeship, drop here. Is it recording? 
Oh, it's such a good backdrop here, you can't get a bad shot. We're just moving now over into the stand to get a shot facing up that way. I've seen loads of these shots and stuff as well on like Sky Sports, YouTube and different football clubs and that. And now I'm here, I'm like, I can film one of these videos myself, this is ace. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate. So there we have it. That's filming at Birmingham City Football Club. And it was class. I really, really enjoyed that. And also Ocean, the apprentice, she's only 18 and spoke terrifically, absolutely brilliantly. Every question that I asked, like she just nailed it. Uh, and then Matt as well that we spoke to as well gave us some really good insight from an employer's point of view, that employs an apprentice for coaching roles. So Coach Core, which is who we're working for today, he's gonna get a banging video. So now we're just arriving at a school. So Ocean, that I'm not sure whether you've seen or not, but the apprentice that we've just been filming with at Birmingham, that one more interview based. Now we're going to get Ocean delivering a, uh, I think it's a football coaching session for some kids at a school and stuff as part of the apprenticeship program. So we're going there now. I, I have no idea what the last message was to this vlog, but it's the first time I've spoken to you today like this. We're off to this surprise accommodation. It, it could be a tent, it could be a caravan, it could be a house. We've already gone through all that. Um, if I'm honest, I'm still on the wiser, but I've brought some spare cash for a travel lodge at the last minute, depending on what we were about to go and see. And David's currently putting it into his maps, presumably, and uh, well, away we go. So we're on the way to the accommodation and these two are checking. Now, the way that this has worked out on how we get there and get access and check in and stuff has given some of the game plan away. It's still not 100% confirmed yet, but just the way it's done, it's, it's obvious that it's not one or two of the options. Now, Abby's just said, she just hopes that she's got her own room. I'm gonna say one thing before we get there. I can confirm that we do not have three separate rooms, bedrooms. So I'll end the clip there. So this is like extremely dodgy because we've had to park somewhere down there. Then I've got to go and meet someone to get some keys because I'll not tell you just yet. But we can't get into the parking thing until we've got the stuff to check in. Now I'm having to just run down here to do that so that I can go get back the car and get back. Oh. I'll be honest, I don't know how bright Rob and Abby are, but it might give it away where we're staying when they pull around here. And there they are. So what do you think it is now then? I mean, I'm still going for like a little apartment type thing. <laughs> Thank you. 56. Yeah, cheers. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Just like starting much. You think? Yeah, fair dues, fair dues, yeah, yeah. Have I done all right? Yes, it's better than what you made out of it, me. Here we go. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Right, so come on, reactions. I mean, yeah, it's sort of what I thought it was going to be, but because obviously we had no idea, I'm a bit concerned. But yeah, I mean, it looks smart, doesn't it, to be fair? It looks alright, I'm quite happy. It's cool. I'll be. She's like, I'm not mad about it, I just like my room. Look at that. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? Don't mind uh, Oh, yeah. So, do you know how I was saying we didn't have three rooms? Yeah. We have two rooms. That one is a twin, however they did say that that was a sofa bed so i was just like well i'll just have sofa bed i don't care ah okay how's up to you so you can uh sleep in there rob you got suite, oh it? yeah on suite with shower and that in this one you ain't got a suite you've got a bed but you ain't got a suite oh, rob, right. bed. there you yeah, go bed. that's one bed that's two bedroom this is the bathroom oh so there's a shower in here too oh there we go there's the living room kitchen area oh hang on Hey, I bet we have to pay for that. Then. So there you have it, we're in a city apartment. Now it did say city view, but it looks like we're on the wrong side for the city view, which is a bit unfortunate. What's that view? Oh, some work. We've got a good builder view. Bob and his pals are down there, look. So there you have it, we're right in the centre of Birmingham, that agency co have made it. We're filming at football clubs, we're staying in city centre apartments. We hired out an entire apartment because I thought it'd be cool on this vlog rather than just going and staying in a hotel room. So we're now off to the next location where we're interviewing a lady called Nikki who is part of, I think, 
Active Birmingham or Birmingham Active. She's in control of Sport Birmingham. She's in control of like trying to get more people in Birmingham active and stuff. And she's pivotal um, when it comes to getting employers to take on apprentices in coaching roles and active active roles. Um, so we're going to see what she's got to say for herself. <laughs> Here we go, got to get that fitness in, whether we're away or not. We're saying that, what are you ordering for food tonight? Uh. And just like that, we're back to our new apartment. Yep. So you might think that that's a day over, but it's not. We're going to try and order some food from Uber and have it delivered to the apartment. And we're going to try something new, I think. Also, we've got some projects that we need to start working on, which we're going to do. And guess what? We've brought the internet, like the internet, all of it from the office. We've brought it right here so that we can carry on with projects this evening. So we just ordered food. Me and Rob are going for Tim Hortons. It's basically McDonald's with some guy from Canada's name on it. But Danette has wanted it for ages and ages and ages and ages. And she's been to Birmingham a couple of times, I think, and never had it. So now I'm here, I'm gonna have it, take a picture, send it to her and rub it in her face. This one's being awkward. Didn't want to order from one place to make it easy, ordering for somewhere else. But what we're we doing right now, Rob? We're gonna watch tonight's vlog. That was obviously what we did yesterday. To be honest, I can't remember what we did yesterday. But now I can, now I've thought about it for a second. So yeah, watching the vlog. So we've ordered food. Where? Oh. Is that this guy? Woohoo! Yay! Uber guy. There he is. We're here, pal. We're coming down. Right. What have we got in here then? Whoa. One meal. Two meal. Oh. That's the Coke. Coca Cola. Oh, this is what we're it. Cherry crush Cherry or something. Cherry cooler or something. Cherry cooler. That was cool. I, I mean, there. I'm gonna shout out respect to Tim Hortons for packing drinks and all the food in one bag. Everything in Fair one play. bag. And Rob didn't know this. I don't know about two seconds ago when I seen him. Boom. Oh. Tim bits. Apparently these are like little balls of joy, just like. So what these are in here are like little donut ball things. All different flavours and that. So we had to try them, didn't we? So I've gone for crispy chicken burger. Christ knows what that is. Let's pretend I ain't said that twice. And you get lattices instead of fries from Tim Hortons. Uh, oh, they're chicken strips. So where's the fries? Oh, and then there are the lattices. Okay, so I just bit into the burger and it's got these different sauces on it. I'm not quite sure what they are, whether like a Tim Hortons special sauce or whatever, but. Um, very nice. These lattices, these are, they've not been done enough for me. I prefer them a bit crispier. They're like when you go to a Morrison's meal deal and they used to do it now and again. If they've gone a bit like hot and then soft again, not great. I like them nice and crispy. First one had a really crispy and really nice. The rest are a bit. Right, chicken strip. If I'm honest, it'll like another five minutes, but let's find out, shall we? You know, five minutes. Better than McDonald's thing is chicken select. No. No. Right, Abby. Yeah, you come and get one. This one. Right, and I'll pick one of these chocolatey looking ones. It's just a food channel, this, isn't it? Come on, it tastes like a jam donut without a jam. Jam donut? Without the jam, yeah. Without the jam, so a donut. <laughs> Good. It's a bit lemony. Mmm. I'll tell you what, my mouth's getting really hot. Look at that. <laughs> full of chocolate as well. That is delicious, just full on like chocolate bun. Tim Hortons, you've done all right, because the food, I'm going to be honest, nowhere near as good as McDonald's, if that's <laughs> what you're trying to copy. The donuts, very good. Having tried all of the mini little donut things now, I'll take it back a little bit. It, it yeah. wasn't that great. Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons out of 10. Three or four. Honestly, I wouldn't, you know I wouldn't bother again. Uh, Tim Norton, out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the burger were all right. Uh, a four. Right, so my food just came. It came from Chopsticks Noodle Bar, and it's just in this black box. So I've not actually opened it yet. 
Oh. So this will be my um, barbecue chicken and that will be my katsu chicken. And there's noodles, that's so smart. This is some of the katsu. Mm. I'm very happy I waited. I'm currently editing you. That's the earlier bit of the video that you're in. I'm editing this because I will get it done. Do some other couple of bits before bedtime and it's already 20 past 8. I'll be eating. Rob's on the blower. And you know what's coming. See you tomorrow. Rob's on phones out. End up blow. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to stop. I can party on till the morning comes, till the sun goes up. We don't stop, no.